Today we're going to learn about long division. And I've got three examples here. And in case you're wondering, the reason why I've written this example down twice is because I'm going to show you two different methods. The first method is the one that's probably more familiar to people. You just say how many threes go into seven, two, remainder one, threes into eighteen is six, threes into two is zero, and threes into twenty-four is eight. So we'll get two thousand six hundred and eight. Okay, so next one we're going to do by what we call long division. Again, we'll see how many threes go into seven, and that's two. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to times the three by two. But remember how in the first video, which was on place and face values, this place value here is thousands. So I've got three times two thousand. So that's going to be six thousand. I'm going to subtract that. I get eight hundred and twenty-four. Three into eight. Eighteen actually. Three into eighteen. Goes six. There's no remainder. And then here we've got twenty-four and eight going to twenty-four as well. Now we'll do three times eight, which is twenty-four. Subtract that and we'll get zero, which means we've got no remainder. Now I've got two more examples over here. I've got seven into one hundred and seventy-nine. So first of all I say how many 7s go into 1, obviously 7 doesn't go into 1, so then I say how many 7s go into 17, and we know that we've got 2 7s here go into 17, of course to leave a remainder, but that's not important yet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 7 times 20, that's 140. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract that. When I subtract that from 179, I get 39. And 7's into 39 is 5. You get 5 7's into 39. Now we'll do 7 times 5, which is 35. We'll subtract that. And we'll find we get 4. Now this here is a remainder. Okay, so we've got remainder 4. Last example here is 23 into 682. Right, 23 doesn't go into 6. 23 is into 68. Now that goes twice. 223 is going to 68. Now what I do is I do 20 times 23. So okay, 2 times 23 is 46. Times that by 10 I get 460. So then I get, subtracting this, then I get 222. 23 is under 222. If you do it on a calculator, you'll find out that it goes nine times. Okay. Right, so now I'm going to do 23 times nine. Now that comes out to be 
207. Oops, I forgot the squares around these to show you which ones I'm dividing. So I've divided it into there. Right, so not anyway, and I'm going to subtract 207 because I did 23 times 9, which is 222. And now... I get 15 when I subtract that. Remember how we subtract numbers? Can I do that? Borrow 1, 0, 15. Remainder is 15. Okay? Right, so that's how we do long division and this method works for any long division problems but sometimes as I've shown here it is easier just to use that method but if you've got a two digit number and a three digit number like here I would say use long division. Okay, and if you've got any questions you just leave the comments on my video and I'll reply.